Final score here at Vicarage Road, Watford 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1, so the last away day of the season and again Wednesday managed to pick up a point. Uh, let's get the post-match thoughts then of Stuart Gray, the Sheffield Wednesday manager. So Stuart, as with Bournemouth, a late goal and a point for Sheffield Wednesday, what's your uh, assessment of the 90 minutes? Uh, well, totally different performance to the Bournemouth game, we, we were at it the first half. We were like rabbit in headlights, we, uh, we gave them too much respect, we stood off them, we kept giving the ball away far too cheaply. And they missed chance after chance. And I said to the players at half time, I said, look, luckily we're only 1 0 down. And it just, we'll get an opportunity in the game. And um, thankfully we did get an opportunity. And I was just very surprised when, when, when Lloyd Scrove was breaking away at the end and the referee's blown for final time. So we could have maybe just gone and nicked the game. But well, not acceptable the first half performance. But second half, like I said to the players, they showed plenty of character. Because we've been here before, we've done it many times. And uh, there's a great belief in the camp. And again, the away form overall this season must be pleasing to go to the two promoted teams, uh, last couple of away games, and take points off them. I mean, that still must be one of the real positive signs off this season. Yeah, again, it's, like we say, goals change games, and 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 we've 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 done it at the big teams, and 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 we've but we've most important thing. I was just so disappointed with that first half. We showed them too much respect. We backed off them. And it's as though we're in awe of them, and then suddenly, luckily, at half time, we're 1 0 down. But credit to the boys, they, they kept going, kept believing. And then suddenly, we grew into the game. We, we were outplayed, out dominated for the first 45 minutes. But around get about the 60 minute mark, we started coming onto the game. Our passing was better, our movement was better, our ball retention was better. And suddenly, we, you could just sense that maybe, hang on, this, this, this isn't over yet. And uh, they, they went a little bit negative, and then I think they made a few more defensive changes to just to try and keep the lead but one thing we do know is if you get a free kick and you put it in the box and you keep it live you've got a chance and I'm, I'm delighted for Atty to get the goal as well. So that takes him to I think 11 for the season. Um, what do you make of his contribution overall uh, and also not only that but finishing 13th so top half finish for Sheffield Wednesday only denied 12th by, by goal scored uh, that Charlton were just slightly better so just your views on that Stuart? Just disappointed with the amount of goals for we've had. We've had opportunities to uh, win more games but we haven't converted our chances. But today, like I said, the, the most important thing is the honesty and the belief in the team and, and, and the, they needed a bit of a rollicking at half time and they got one and, uh, and they responded and that was the most important thing. We, but the, like, from Hattie's point of view, like I say, he'll be disappointed. He should have maybe had more goals. Stevie May should have more goals. Will Keane should have more goals. But the most important thing, I can't fault the, fault the effort and the commitment and the application has been spot on. Obviously, Sheffield Wednesday will have a, a nice new pitch to play on next season, so that's a positive and, and certain upgrades are around the stadium as well. Um, what does the summer hold for you? Obviously, I, I sense you will get some break at some point, or are you going to be working as soon as you get back into the office on Monday morning? Well, unfortunately, there's, there's, there's going to be ins and outs of the football club, and uh, so we're going to be busy trying to regroup and re-strengthen the team. Like you say, the, 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 the Hillsborough pitch is getting sorted, but the most important thing, like I say, is that... Uh, is that the confidence and the belief that these boys and the will and the never give up attitude? They've got, we've got to carry that through, and hopefully we're going to we're going to strengthen the team in the summer and and bring bring hopefully quality more quality players in to sort of um, go with our solid side of it where we've we've not conceded many goals but we've got to get more goals at the front end, and it's that that's an area but we're looking to strengthen. And equally with yourself and Glenn uh, and Adam Pearson as well. You'd be hoping that there will be some funds to spend and some, yeah, some exciting times on the way. I suppose we can look positively towards 2015-16. Well, I think I think it's been a long time coming for the fans and everything like that. You see them today that, that in the end of outsung the Watford what, Watford party that we're having here. But no, no, the most important thing is is, is we'll get this game out of the way. Glenn and I and Adam will sit down and we'll we'll we'll, we'll discuss the targets that we want to bring in. We've got boys that are still under contract. We've got boys that are out of contract that, that need to be addressed as well. But the most important thing, like I say, is that uh, it's onwards and upwards going forward with this football club. And just finally, a word for the fans. Well, just under 22,000 here to Vicarage Road today. Uh, they have been, again, one of the real high points. Always take a good away support to grounds, don't we? Well, it's hard for them, as in it's very expensive to come and watch football. And uh, the journeys that they've made, Bournemouth away, Brighton away, and, and even today, they're there in the thousands and, 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 and they support the players and, and hey, they had every right to boo the players off at half time because that was not acceptable, that first half performance, but credit to the players and it was nice to score at their end and it was nice for the boys to go and celebrate and, uh, but I just can't thank them enough for, 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 for uh, disappointing that we haven't won enough games at home but they, they, they've played their part in the away games as well.